I wrote a poem for the first time ever. There seemed to be no other way to express what I felt. Why did you, my wife of six years, take your own life? At first there was utter shock, disbelief, confusion. There was so much that words could not seem to capture. Then there was an endless string of why, why, why? Why did I not have any clue? Why did she not tell me about what she was going through? We were deeply in love, soon after we met through work. Everyone saw our love. We were happy together. She was beautiful. At parties, she liked to dance. Well, I would shy away from it. We talked about having a child. So why did she end her life? Why did it happen to us? Why did God choose me? to suffer this incredible pain. Why? I had flashbacks of finding her cold, pale body. Grief hit me, wave after wave. But the world went on like nothing happened. Why are people watching TV, shopping, laughing, eating? Did I deserve to live on? I thought that I too must end things. How can I stay if she is gone? I began writing a letter to my love to tell her all the things I wanted to say to her. My pain poured out in words and the weight on my heart lifted. I stepped back from the precipice. My family, my friends tried to comfort me but I felt they could not truly understand how I felt. And the stigma. People do not talk about suicide or they don't know how to. What would they say to me? Then one day, an ex-colleague reached out and told me about a support group called We Hear You. I had a call with Nayana, one of the founders. It was supposed to be 15 minutes, but we spoke for over two hours. Something began to change. We Hear You started about three years ago. Uh, when my closest friend lost a parent. I think it was the first time that I spoke about my own loss uh, of my mother, which happened by then about 23 years ago. We talked about how it was important to share this uh, loss uh, with people who actually understood the loss because she was talking to a lot of people and didn't feel that she was receiving the kind of understanding and comfort that she needed. So suicide in our country comes with its burden of stigma. You see it in hushed voices. You see it in people's uh, stares and glares. You see it in people's body language. And it's prevalent. It is um, deep. It is chronic. Uh, and results in a lot of shame, both for the family as well as the person who is um, at risk. One of the things we do uh, uh, about stigma is is we own our stories. And we own that you are no different than anyone else uh, just because you experience grief or that you've seen something so horrific and tragic. When I attended my first We Hear You session, I felt safe. There were shared experiences, shared pain, shared grief. There was no judgment. As human beings, we always think we are special. But listening to everyone, I realized, no, I had not been marked for this. I had not been chosen. I felt supported. And I hope my sharing helped others. And we should all learn and speak about suicide and not keep silent. Is there a universal why as to why someone, uh, a loved one would take their life? Well, there isn't. Um, each one has their unique why. And I think in this group, that's what something someone comes closer to, is to understand the why of their person and to be okay with that and to find ways to get back to living without the guilt. 
Each day is different. I don't know when the grief will hit me again or what the future holds. It is a lonely journey, but one that I must travel. We all must find our own answers. We must.